Hey y'all, Ashley here, better known as Multifaceted ACG, bringing you 30 days of consecutive K-pop challenge content that you didn't even ask for, but you're glad I'm doing. Today is day 12. Since I got into K-pop in 2012, most people would assume that the first Korean song I heard or first K-pop song I heard would be Gangnam Style by Psy, but that's not actually true. In fact, the first time I heard it was a few years prior to that. I just didn't know what I heard. I remember being in Koreatown, LA, which is where for a brief moment in time I lived, and there is a huge video display screen at one of the intersections uh right by wiltern actually and it's where the korean herald has an office there is a spa there with a huge uh golf outdoor indoor golf area it's a, it's a range for you to practice it's also across the street from where winter filmed uh really 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 <laughs> but there's this massive screen that's outside and at that time, I assume SM Town was coming. I don't know what that was. I remember seeing an advertisement for <clears throat> Super Junior. Didn't know who they were then. And then it was another group. And I'm like, dang, they got a whole bunch of backup dancers. I had never seen anything like that before. It was Girls' Generation. And they had on um, multicolored pants and everything. And I'm like, okay, well, at the time, I didn't know what that was. Again, I just thought it was some girls, maybe a group of three or four with a whole bunch of backup dancers all wearing similar outfits. Had no idea. Um, I had a friend then uh, named Jessica. Um, she took me to get some Korean food one time. And then I heard, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. It turned out to be G. G-E-E, -E, the iconic ambassador K-pop female song when it came out, which, oddly enough, was the song that is associated with the part of the video I saw with all them girls with all them pants on. <laughs> I didn't find out until 2012 that Girls' Generation had nine members in it and that that song was theirs earlier in their year. I became interested in them because Teddy Riley produced The Boys and I learned the English version of that long before I knew it was a Korean version. And then uh, I Got a Boy came out January 1st of 2013 and I kind of just rolled with them ever since. So that was the genuine first song I heard. Um, I was extremely ignorant to social differences, so I just heard it as background noise in my head. I knew that the song could not have been Japanese because I was familiar with that already. Um, I just, I didn't know. There was no way to know that so many years later it would, you know, be such an iconic piece in, in the soundtrack of my life and uh, such an iconic piece in general. So that's the first song I heard. I had to really think and piece together the chronological. Look at that. Can't even talk, y'all. I'll be struggling on these videos. Hopefully the next few, I won't have such a hard time. <laughs> what was the first song you heard, though? Let me know in the comments below. And I am reading the comments you all are leaving on the past videos, by the way. So keep it coming. If you like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell because it's at least two steps involved with subscribing and getting noticed for my channel. Make sure to share it with your other K-pop fans and leave some comments down below. I will check you in the next video. Bye, y'all.